All right, guys, I am so excited because tonight is a very special episode. It's the very first Saturday Night Snack on a Movie episode from the RV. Check it out guys, if you have been watching all my videos on my other channel, uh, Nate the Bee and the Big RV, then you have been watching the complete remodel, renovation of this RV, everything I've been doing in it, uh, totally gutting the whole thing, getting new furniture and everything. I'm still in the process of that, but it's going fast now, I'm getting a lot of stuff done. I'm gonna take you inside and show you around in just a second here. In fact, let's do that right now. Everything is kind of a mess in here right now because I'm in the middle of remodeling. But I'm gonna show you anyway. And I'm spending a night in here tonight. So what a disaster we have going on in here right now. We have so many projects happening uh, for anybody who has not been watching on the other channel. All of this is brand new wallpaper that I put up. This is what it used to look like right here. And this is the new stuff. So you can see it's, it's called Spice, that's the color of it. Lots of new carpet going in, including on this whole slide here, up here in the front. That's what this thing is right here. This is the engine cover. Goes over the engine uh, in the middle there. And this one's tricky. I have to do it in pieces because it has rounded parts to it and concave curved parts up there. And right now I have a ton of glue. Oh, here, you can see it right there. I got about an eighth of an inch of glue under all that and then all this heavy flooring sitting on top of it and these clamps to hold it in place while the glue dries. These seats are the original seats but I had them reupholstered. All this is new carpet up in here. This was all carpet and I've got it all pulled out. This I'm working on here, just a little bit more to go before we start putting down the new floor. And that's what this stuff is right here, SmartCore Ultra. It's a vinyl plank. It looks like hardwood. You can see what it looks like right there. It's like that dark hardwood. Here's a better look at it right here. I got this stuff at Lowe's. It's gonna take nine boxes to do all of this. Waterproof flooring. Actually, I think I may have bought one box extra just in case, because I don't know, I'm the kind of person who likes to have too much instead of too little. I actually had to rebuild this whole wall over here because it was water damaged. I installed this backsplash over here. That was fun. Not. <laughs> Not one thing in here has been easy. You would think that like putting up this backsplash here that you're just going to peel it, stick it, and you're done and walk away. I mean, I don't even remember how many days it took. It took at least two days and I had to order more in the middle of that process. And I was destroying the stuff. It was, it was, it was tough. I've got the vents taken out and back here. I just recently finished up the carpet in the bedroom here. Got a brand new mattress and bed set there. That's all set up. Just put up those blinds. At the moment, we have two TVs in here. That one up there uh, between the seats and then this one back here in the bedroom. And if you hit play on the DVD up there, it plays the same thing on both TVs. I have a lot of work still to do. I need to put blinds just like that on this window. Then I'm gonna build some wood uh, box valances for the top. This section over here is actually where you would have a washer and dryer if you want one, but I don't really want one. I just plan on stopping at laundry mats. And it's funny, because I said that before and somebody in the comments was like, oh, sure, bud. Like, I don't get it. Since when is it hard to stop at a laundromat? <laughs> Let me come in here and turn around to show you the rest here because we've got a shower loaded with crap right now. <laughs> you got a sink loaded with crap. And there's the mirror, hi! So I need to do all this uh, wallpapering in here. And then in here is what they call the water closet. It's actually where the toilet goes. But I took out the old toilet and I'm putting in a brand new one because I'm putting everything new in here. Still needs wallpapered. I had to 
fix a hole in the floor because that was water damaged. So I had to cut that out and put new wood in there. I'm telling you, it's been a huge process and I still have quite a ways to go. But I'm excited about it. It's all coming together. And I'm especially excited about spending the night in here tonight. It's going to be the first time I've spent the night in here. It's going to be right there on that new bed. <laughs> that is a Serta memory foam hybrid mattress. It's like a mix between memory foam and uh, and springs, I guess, coils or something like that. And uh, I got it at Lowe's for, I think, 400 bucks. It was $300 off because it was one of those deals that they brought out a whole ton of them for Christmas. And uh, after Christmas, they still hadn't got rid of them, so I got it for 300 bucks off. But there it is. That's where I'm going to be crashing for the night. But I do not have any running water out here yet, so I don't have a toilet, as you saw. I can't take a shower here. Um, can't even get a drink. So I keep bottled water up in here. So I always have something to drink when I want it when I'm here. Legend of Billie Jean. And I am really thinking about my options here for a snack tonight because I have not had any kind of food in here. I haven't cooked anything in here because I don't want to leave the smell of food because that will potentially attract the mice. Um, I do have glue traps and, and mouse traps and things like that. But uh, until I'm living in here full time, I'm just kind of afraid to have that smell lingering around in here, inviting rodents. But yeah, I've been here all day long working on this stuff. Um, this is what I've been doing today, and I'm going to huh, let that sit for a little bit. I need to run home and get my jammies and anything else that we might need for tonight. And then I think that we are going to do a little bit of work in here or maybe even work on some of those blinds or something. In fact, we might just watch two movies, and the first one is gonna be, since we're out here at the RV, RV! This movie is absolutely hilarious. Robin Williams is in it. If you guys have not seen it, you've got to see it. This is more of a family movie than the other one I, I was gonna say. I was gonna say, we're the Millers, which I may watch that one as well, but that one is not very much of a family movie. So, for purposes of the Saturday night snack and a movie, it's going to be RV with Robin Williams. There are a couple things I need to do before I leave here, though. While it's still light out and it's not going to be potentially bothering anybody with the sound, um, I have some of these planks here. I need to cut a couple pieces to use with the blinds in hanging the blinds. And I do not have a jigsaw, so I grabbed one the other day just from Walmart, because it was only 20 bucks. And I don't have a lot of projects I'm gonna be using it for. So I got this Hyper Tough and a couple of extra jigsaw blades for wood. That's what I'm gonna be using to cut these things. So I'm gonna do that real quick here. Change my glasses to my yellow and black B glasses. Murder wasp glasses. <laughs> Put this thing off so it doesn't get covered with sawdust. Okay, so that's done. We got eight of these blocks in case we need them. The reason we would need those is because when I'm hanging these blinds, you can see where this sticks out from the wall that far. So I actually need to take a block here, two of them, wrap them in this wallpaper so that it blends in, and then attach it to the wall right here, and attach the thing that holds the blind to that, that uh, block. I did it back here in the bedroom on this one. See what I mean right there? And even though those blend in, um, they're still kind of ugly, but they're going to be covered with a, a valance, a, a box valance. I have such a hard time saying that. And what that is is just a wooden box that's covered with a fabric, and you put it over that window instead of like a little curtain or something. All right, guys. I am ready to go home and pack my overnight bag, grab some stuff for a snack. I never leave a mess in here when I leave. I always try to clean everything up the best I can. And uh, I sweep the floors. That way I'm never coming back into any kind of a mess. All the 
lights go off, the generator, double check all this stuff. So we'll have to heat it back up when we get in here because it's supposed to get cold tonight. Now I'm not going to bring the slides in because I'm just making a quick run home to pack my bag. But uh, usually I'll pull the slides in. I'll make sure that everything is 100% tip top. All the power's off. Everything's just closed up tight and just ready for a fresh start the next time I come in to work on stuff. All right. I'm excited. Let's go pack an overnight bag, guys. First Saturday night snack in a movie in the RV. Guys, this is so crazy. I stopped at Walmart to get snack stuff. Not only is it snowing, and it was so hot just the other day, but I locked my keys in the car. <laughs> so I'm waiting for my mom to get here to let me in. Woohoo! We are back in business. Yes, always something interesting. It would be so easy just to get mad at things like that, but where does it get you if you get mad? You know, I'm ready to have a fun movie night, and I'm not going to let anything like that uh, ruin it for me, so check my mail. Give me just a few minutes here to get some things packed up. We're going to head back over there. I got some stuff to make some awesome snacks tonight that doesn't require cooking, and i uh, going to change into some jammies over there. It's snowing, so I'm going to have to run a generator and, uh, and keep the heat going. All right, guys, bags are packed. Heading back out. Let's go over there. I got everything. Yeah, I got everything. Get over there, get some jammies on, and have a fun, fun movie night. All right, guys, we got the uh, propane turned back on. I cannot tell you how excited I am to spend the night in here tonight. <laughs> get the generator going here, get some lights. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Lights back on here. Starting to get dark outside. Ooh wee! I'm excited. <laughs> Dinette overhead ceiling. Let's get our heat going here. Have that kicked on. Warming up. Ooh wee! <laughs> Can't wait to crawl in that bed tonight. I also want to close the uh, the curtains around the front windows there. Okay, I got those closed. I had to mess with the front up there a little bit because there's a little clip on each side. You have to clip it or else it won't close all the way. Looks pretty cool. All right, guys, it is officially pitch black outside, and I just, I cannot tell you how excited I am to be here tonight, spending the first night ever in the RV. Even though I'm not, like, anywhere special, it's still a special thing to me to do this. So let me show you what I got for our snacks here first, and then we'll uh, we'll do something else I'm gonna tell you about. Okay, so when I went to Walmart, I picked up a couple things that I need here. Um, one is just the typical paper towels. I got some, uh, well, they're plastic plates. Let's see, I got a couple things of trash bags here. I go through these things like crazy in here when I'm doing this remodel. Then I figured what we could make tonight it wouldn't leave any kind of a, uh, a smell of food in here because we're not going to cook it. We're not even going to use the microwave to warm it up. But I got some low carb wraps here and I brought some provolone cheese. Ooh, I got some cheese sticks and a meat stick too, just for a snack if I want to. Some mustard, honey ham, and turkey. It's this buddy that just comes in a little pack here. They're like, I don't know, 68 cents or something. Some lettuce. Oh, and then I got some Kleenex. And I got a shirt for my jammies. So we're not actually going to put anything on this shirt tonight. I just bought this so I'd have something fresh to change into with my pajamas. But yeah, we're going to make some uh, some wraps here with, with ham, turkey, provolone, lettuce, and mustard. I bought this little box of tissues, though. Because right beside this chair here is a place for the tissues. <laughs> There, you can see it better with the light on there. You just pull one up through there, and there you go. Mark that off the checklist. I also brought my enormous thing of movies here, in case I want to watch some other ones while I'm here tonight. Okay, before we make our food here, um, let me show you what we're going to do here. I showed you that there's two TVs in here, one in the front, one in the back. Okay, so if we put a movie in here... 
it'll come on this TV right here. And then if we go into the back, into the bedroom, the same movie will come on this TV. Which is pretty cool. Anyways, I like how it plays on both TVs. Because I'm the kind of person that when I was at home and I had cable, I would always have the same thing on every TV in the house. So I could kind of go around cleaning or doing whatever I was doing. And I could watch the movie from one room to the next. However, tonight we're going to do something a little different. We're not going to use the small TVs. First thing, and I'm not going to make you watch this, but I'm going to go ahead and put up the blind on that window because I'm sleeping in here tonight and that would just be freaky. But after I get done with that, we're going to bring that fireplace into this bedroom and put that TV on it. And that's how I'm going to watch the movie tonight. All right, the blind is up. There it is. That wasn't too hard at all, especially after I did that one the other day, and that one was a monster. So, let's go get the, uh, the fireplace and the TV. I'm just having too much fun in here tonight, guys. Oh yeah, how cool is that? There's the awesome bed. I got my laptop. I'm about to do some editing tonight. Watch an awesome movie on here. I could even watch Netflix or Prime or IMDb or YouTube. But we're going to make our snack and watch RV. And I'll probably watch We're the Millers too. Guys, my humble abode for the night where I'm going to have my movie night. We got RV on the TV here. The bed's pulled down. I got my laptop over there to do some editing while I munch and watch the movie. Is this like the best first night in the RV ever or what? <laughs> All right, let's make our snack here. Wait, I gotta get my jammies on first. Okay, so let's get a plate here. I meant to bring some cottage cheese too, but I forgot. And then we'll get a wrap. Actually, I'm kind of a hungry boy, so I'm gonna get two of these wraps. There we go. Put a little bit of mustard to get started. And we're gonna do some turkey. I think we're gonna do both of them as a mixture, because I like the turkey and the ham both on mine. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, provolone. Okay. And we'll grab a water. And there we go, guys. How delicious is that? That looks really tasty. Look at that. Mm 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 mm. All right, guys, that is our movie night and our snack. There we go, it's already rolling. RV. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. Turn out the lights in the rest of the rig. Dinette, galley, kitchen, whatever this thing is, whatever this thing is. Okay, that is it. Let's journey back to the bedroom here. Heck yeah, man. I, I can't tell you guys how excited I am right now. <laughs> and what a perfect movie for this night, man. The first night in the RV, we're watching the RV. Look how comfy that looks. Holy crap. All right, guys, come back every Saturday for more Saturday Night Snack in the movie. Pretty soon, We'll be doing every single one of them from this RV. I'm going to munch.